Good morning, Modern Statics. It's Monday morning here at Lumna Acres. The day after the last day of the pig harvesting class. Wow, we are still processing everything we learned. All the new relationships we made with the Modern Stedders, with Doug and Andy, with Hand Hewn Farm. We just learned a ton. We saw a lot. We're Oh, I, we're still processing everything here. We got some beautiful food. We're, we have a ton of beautiful food that we're gonna be finishing curing. I'll be showing all the food we did in tomorrow's video. We have so much in our refrigerator that we need to finish curing in our freezer that was put up. It is beautiful, looks delicious. We're gonna be eating good and making some awesome cooking videos coming up soon. So we have our Italian sausage that we made here and that we've linked up and we put into its natural casings from our pigs that we let dry overnight. And now I need to find out if I can cut the links, bag them up, and put them in the freezer. Look at that beautiful sausage. Oh, I'm hungry already. Look at that. Oh ho ho ho. I'm gonna stick them over here on a nice stainless steel table. Would you look at those? That is beautiful. This is our own pasture raised, grown here with love at Lamina Acres, put into their own casing, stuffed by modern steaders. What a great weekend. And we're gonna be able to keep receiving the benefits from it all winter long. And we're gonna, every time we break into a piece of this meat, we're gonna have beautiful memories of the animals we raised. And we're gonna have awesome memories of all of our new friends in modern steaders and just the great time we had this past weekend. This food just won't sustain our body. This food is just full of memories now. Every time we bite into one of these or any of our bacon or any pots of the pork, I'm, I'm gonna have so many memories. We learned so much and this is gonna be so much fun. Food's not gonna be the same now. Cut the bladders off and we'll hang them up and leave them to dry longer. That's just a thing of beauty right there. Cutting my own sausage right here in the outdoor kitchen that's been hanging all night long. Oh, it just doesn't get any better than this. Now normally you can let the sausages hang and dry out more, but we have gotten a ton of rain overnight, so there's a lot of moisture in the air yesterday, the last night, and this morning. They have dried out just enough, so when we cut them, the ends are not coming undone, but you could let them dry. They would normally be a little drier by now, but I don't want to leave them out during the day today. When we're packaging them up, we're packaging them up for our family. I need to be thinking about what we'll be eating in a day. So for my family, three sausages is going to be perfect. And if we have company over, we just have to take out an extra bag. They smell delicious. The recipe we made with these was great. One of the great things about making your own sausage, we ground up all the meat. Jennifer, thank you Jennifer, mixed in the spices. Then we fried it up on the griddle and we were tasting the sausage as we were making it. 
and we got to figure out if we needed to add more, subtract stuff, and then we made them into links. So we already know how delicious these are. We got to taste them, and everybody that was here got to taste the sausage, and it was great. So delicious. Now, if you're asking about the different sausages hanging up, they're both the same. Andy was just showing us different ways that you can link them together to hang them so they're not so long. And we'll be having all the videos on that coming up. We have a ton of footage we need to go through. I, whew, it's amazing how much footage we've got. It's a shame to cut all the sausage down. It's a piece of artwork hanging in the outdoor kitchen. It's a beautiful sausage ring. Whew, that's a lot of sausage. Oh, we have some nice white wine in here. And you can smell it. Does that smell so delicious? If it wasn't so early in the morning, I'd be frying this up and eating it right now. I gotta go to work though. I don't think I can take the time. My boss probably wouldn't appreciate it if I was late. Because I was eating Italian sausage. Oh, so delicious. Look at that. Oh. Now we still have plenty of cleaning up to do. While we had the class going on, the classes were good eight to ten hour days during the class. I believe all the modern studies would agree it went awesome. And now look at all the beautiful food we get out of it. This is some nice sausage. Whew. Last bag. I'll tell you what, talk about making you hungry. Working with a beautiful sausage first thing in the morning. Makes me want to call in sick for the day. We'll let the pig's bladders dry, and we'll explain to you what we can do with them later on. Wait till you see them all dried out. We already had them dried out once. I can't wait to make tomorrow's video and show you all the beautiful meats we have curing in the house. We have some bacon. I'm not going to give it away. We got a prosciutto. Ooh. We have. I'm not telling you all the meats we got, Karen. That would just ruin tomorrow's video. But I'll tell you what. We have a lot of beautiful meats curing the old way. When these meats are done curing, we're going to be able to hang them in our house if we want to for years and years to come. Now talk about food freedom and food security. What would give you more food security than having your own meat hanging in your house? Knowing that they're gonna last for years and years to come. We can even hang them out here in the outdoor kitchen. If you have a root cellar, you can hang them in your root cellar. If you had a cave, you can hang them in a cave. And if you don't have a cave, go make one. Why would you wanna make a cave? That would just be so much fun. We might have to build a cave here at Lumna Acres. Yeah. I have to work on that one. We rendered the fat and we got some beautiful lard here. That's just beautiful, pure white lard. Would you look at that? From our pigs, that is just beautiful. And over here, we have some nice, beautiful leaf lard. Oh, that's like the prize right there for baking and making beautiful 
flaky pie crusts, and we have had, we had six beautiful, wonderful jars. My father took a jar. Shh. I know you took it. But I'll tell you what, we're gonna make some beautiful pastries and pies this winter with this lard. We're gonna be eating good here at Lumna Acres, that's for sure. We had the wood cook stove going. That was working nicely. All the benches worked nice. The mop sink, all that saved our bacon. That was so nice being able to have a big mop sink out here to wash everything in with running hot water. That was amazing. The table worked out great. So glad we made this. I need to get this beautiful sausage in the freezer before I go to work this morning. Trust me, I don't want to go to work this morning. I'd rather stay home cooking up some beautiful sausage. Smells so good. I need to get going to work, so I'm going to put this in the freezer. We're going to be uploading more beautiful videos. We're going to be going through the footage of the three-day class we had here, and we're going to be sharing that with you guys. Oh, stay tuned. We're going to be cooking all this beautiful food. It's going to be so much fun coming up. I'm so excited. I'm hungry. I hope you're hungry to see this beautiful food cooked up. And I can't wait to bring you along and share the story with you of our food. The pig harvesting class doesn't stop here. And the pig harvesting and the respect for our animals and appreciation doesn't stop here. This is just the beginning of the story, believe it or not. Raising the pigs is part of it. Harvesting the pigs is a part of it. It's not an easy part, and we take that to heart. And that was one of the things that we spent a long time with her during the class, was the dispatching of the animals was as peaceful and humanely as possible. And I want to share that story with you here, because that, that was a great story, and all the modern studies that were here really appreciated it. We just I can't explain it in words. We'll get some videos up and you'll be able to see the whole process. It was, it was the best that anything like that could be. And now we have wonderful food from it that's going to sustain our family for the next six months to a year. And with the meats we're curing, some of those are going to be lasting a few years. And we're going to have all the memories. We built a lot of community with making the food, a lot of memories in this food. And every time we cook up the food, smell the wonderful flavors from it, we're gonna be, these memories are gonna be coming back to us. So this food is just gonna keep sharing and keep living on. And that's how food and community should be. And that's a big part of the three day pig harvesting class. It's not just about the pigs and the food, it's about building community and memories and sharing experiences with everybody. Well, we'll see you, we'll see you right back here tomorrow at Lumna Acres, sharing you more of the beautiful food we were able to make and cure. We've uploaded a lot of photos already on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter of the class and the different processes we've done. And we're going to be uploading a lot more. So if you'd like to see more photos on that and you want to see what's going on, come back tomorrow and check us out on social media. All of our social media handles is Lumna Acres. And we'll see you right back here tomorrow at Lumna Acres, a guide to modern homesteading, self-sufficiency, and freedom. Bye.